Now we're at 35 Gill State today. This is the sales gallery right behind me. The gallery is located at Prince Charles Crescent, but this locale is in your favourite D11 Newton region. It's only about 7 minutes walk towards the Newton MRT station. We're heading into this freehold project. And we're going to review the 1, 2, 3 and a penthouse units right here. Follow Property Inbrass on this new launch review series. Let's go. Alright, so follow me in. We're going to check out the sales gallery, the site plan, the locale, as well as the current 3 beta loft unit right here that is done with the 5.7 meter ceiling. So something very special is that the ground floor units right here, they come with a 4.1 meter ceiling height. And you hear that towards some of the top floor units on level 5, they come with a 5.7 meter ceiling. Even the level 2, 3, they all come with a 3.1 meter ceiling height. So this project is being developed by M Corp and TG Development. So it's going to hit TOP in May 2024. And of course, right now we are already at about 60% sell out. There's still a balance of 40%. Now let's have a look at the site model first. So this is a 70 unit freehold apartment status. Land plot is about 38,000 square feet. Surprisingly, you are also at an elevation of about 8.5 meters from your base level, which is level one. And that's also the area where Infinity Pool is being situated. So from the entrance, this gives you a feeling that when you come home, it's almost like entering towards a resort kind of feel because of the very long driveway. Although this is a 70 unit project, but you're given full 70 unit basement parking lot with two handicap lots. So in terms of parking, that's fantastic. What they've done is that they've also structured the bean station and substation all towards one corner. So it doesn't really affect any of the units right there in terms of its stacks facing. And on top of that, a lot of families are hunting for properties in the Newton vicinity in terms of a 7 minutes walk towards the Newton MRT station. That's within a 500 meters radius. Within a kilometers to three very popular schools. Those are the SJI Junior, ACS Barker as well as ACS Primary. Towards the north part, that's all fronting those landed property. Towards the east portion, this is where the 8.5 meters elevation happens. That's also towards landed. Towards the south portion, this is also towards landed property. Plus, we have the very famous St. James Church Kindergarten, very popular among parents right here in the Newton region. This is Newton Mansion, the older project that we are talking about, also about four to five levels. So in terms of height density, because this is like a landed zoning, you are predominantly having like three-story landed homes and boutique projects, apartment status projects. The high ratio is at five levels. So what primarily you need to take note of is that this is for low density living. And if you're somebody that wants to have your primary residence, you want to be in somewhere where there are a lesser community and lesser density so that you have more privacy, this is what a perfect place for you. Right now, we're going to look at some of the balance units. The one bidders here are done in a very interesting fashion, especially the stack number four right here with the 474 square feet layout. How rare is it to find a one bidder right now in the market with a private leave access? On top of having that private leave access coming back home, you have an add-on study that is being plucked into the 474 square feet. And that's not easy to achieve because when we look at comparisons across different new launches, one bidders primarily at a 400 plus square feet type, you don't get a study room, Jack and Jill sometimes. So when we look at the entire layout, not only do you get a Jack and Jill bathroom for your master towards the living, you also have an additional home shelter right tucked within the one plus study layout and it's all parked into the 474 square feet. There's also a bigger version at stack 14, which is the 484 square feet. This one bed is definitely huge because there's no study room. But what's interesting is that they have like a huge living and dining space plus enclosed kitchen kind of version. There's also a very interesting layout, which is the 560 square feet one plus study. Because this one plus study, on top of having the home shelter, private lift, 
you get an add-on powder room on top of your master ensuite, which is pretty amazing. And you get such a long version of a study room, which you can make that into like an additional bedroom as well. Now the three bader during launch since then has mostly been sold out. There's still one unreleased stack, which is the last three bader stack available at stack number five. And there are only five big penthouses that is in the range of 1,005 to 1,006 square feet. There's also one very interesting unit, which is the two-bed dual key, the only dual key unit available in the entire project. There's also one two-bed, one-bath unit. That quantum falls between the one plus study, 1.2 odd million, and uh, the 1.7 odd million, that is in the range of about 1.4 odd million dollars. So there are some different choices right here that you can pick on. Let me bring you to have a look at this. This is the two bader layout, which are predominantly at 700 square feet. There's a slightly smaller version at about six, seven plus square feet. But what's interesting is that the very first thing you will notice is that why is it that the common bedroom, maybe let's come in and have a look, Josephine. Why is it that the common bedroom can fit in two single size bed on top of having two side tables? You can still put in a side table in the middle. You already have catered space for the, the two panel wardrobe space. If I were to remove these two single bed, that can effectively replace a king bed. And in terms of its square meters, that is almost quite equivalent to the master room square meters because in terms of floor plan, you can actually segregate different areas having different kind of square meters within different zonings. This is almost just like about one square meter shy of the master room. So let's have a look at the feel when you come back home from the 700 square feet type. They all come with a private lift. Take note that you don't have to pay for the space of the private lift. Your space technically starts counting the moment you step out of the private lift. So you have like an entrance foyer right there. Home shelter, two bathroom, one is the ensuite towards your master, one is the common, and the common bedroom is huge in size. Living, dining, and an open kitchen concept which is done nicely. Balcony size is pretty decent, not too big, not too small. Talking about the two bader, pricing wise, they are all doing at about 1.7 odd million dollars, which is very decent. The one bader is doing at about 1.2 odd million dollars, even for the one plus study. When we look at what is happening in the D11 Newton region, you'll notice that in terms of the resale older freehold properties, if we talk about a spread of different kinds of projects that is in close proximity to Newton MRT station, averagely the resale properties are doing at in the range of about 2,000 to maybe about $2,002 or $2,300 per square foot. In terms of 35 Gill State, this brand new freehold, seven minutes walk to MRT, floating at 2526, I think is a very decent entry price in terms of PSF level. Let's bring out the trifactor triangle that by uh, PLB Insights team. So at one point, you have that 2.5 range in terms of PSF for a freehold project, and that's very decent in the D11 Newton area. Second apex that in terms of the layout plus the square footage sizes, what the developer has done well is that they have kept the size to be a very effective and efficient size. The overall quantum is also kept within the $1.8 million mark, which will then form the third apex in terms of pricing. So less than 1.8, you have the 700 square feet with all the interesting elements added within the, the layout. And right in the middle, this is freehold walkable to MRT station. We think that this project is very interesting in a sense. Penthouses are definitely healthy because they are at 1,005 to 1,006 square feet. You look at the layout of this penthouse, potentially it can become a four bader penthouse. By default, it is a three plus family. Let us explore level one. The private lift comes back here. A lot of times when buyers buy penthouse, they are looking for an entry to level two because let's say for example, you have old folks living together with you, your parents are living together with your family. You also want to have that flexibility. So having that lift towards the Level 2 is a rare site because most penthouses, they don't have the lift going up to level 2. So this one gives you that private lift access towards both levels, which is fantastic. You have that staircase tucked at the corner. So once you come back, that hits you towards the 
split living and dining area which is pretty rare as well. Balcony is tucked right at the corner so it doesn't eat into the space of the living area. Living area gives you one huge rectangle that uh, gives you a very easy placement of a huge corner so far. Dining space is right towards the entryway of uh, the kitchen as well. You get an enclosed L-shaped kitchen which is pretty long and wide. And then you have your home shelter, WC, yard area for your washer come dryer. This is the junior master with his own ensuite and standing shower. So as you head up to level 2, either through the private lift or the stairway, that brings you up towards this level. You will first be greeted by a family zone. Now, this family zone, you can cordon off with a partition wall or a corner sliding panel glass with internal blinds or frosted glass. And you can make it into a nice one bader because that can fit in a sofa bed and that can be like a nice guest room as well or maybe you can use it as a private home office. So that can potentially be your fourth mini bedroom if not utilize it as a current family zone. Common room right here plus your main master located right at the corner. So the common bath is on level two. Level one, you have a WC bath and a junior master bath and then your master having his own non-suite and we also like the fact that the balancing is so nice roof terrace is not extremely big so the roof terrace is accessible for level two so everything that you need within a penthouse is almost right here balancing that with freehold status at three odd million dollars Now, I want to come back to the side model. So on top of having that infinity lap pool, sun decks, basement parking, outdoor fitness area, plus uh, some more sun decks as well, and the gym. If you notice, this is all primarily facing towards the east facing. There's different stacks facings as well, with a horizontal stack that is crisscrossing with different stacks within the entire project. Right now, I want to bring you to the show flat. So there's one show flat available when you come to Prince Charles Crescent to look at uh, the show gallery. This is an uh, actual illustration and an actual feel of the 5.7 meter ceiling. Now because of the 5.7 meter ceiling for some of the top floor units that are balanced and available, that gives you an opportunity to build the 5 square meters loft right here. I'm going to head up, show how it feels like. Okay, but take note, this does not come with the unit. Usually, when love happens, let's say you have like 4.5 meters, you don't get this kind of allowance in terms of its height ceiling. So 5.7 meters is a luxury. This can be like a proper home office right upstairs. The cost of building a loft nowadays range from about twenty to 30000 depending on the material. Are you building a steel staircase, staircase that's made of timber wood? So that all depends. But the range in terms of pricing is about twenty dollars to $30,000. You do need to get licensed contractor plus a proper PE to uh, do the weight load bearing test and all that kind of stuff. The definition of having a loft is within 5 square meters of the entire uh, layout. So, Marble flooring will be given for all the units. Let me show you the private list. So this is a three bader kind of layout. Your square footage technically starts from the moment you step out into your foyer zone. Take note when you come to show flat, a lot of the wall features are ID treatment because they will be given white walls. I need to show you what is provided in the kitchen because you're going to get quartz top, gaggenol, induction cooker, Bosch oven, Bosch fridge as well and then the two-in-one washer cup dryer there's Bosch brand as well so in terms of sink you're going to get a white version sink and kitchen size this is definitely generous this is the default for one, two, three and a penthouse because you have that higher ceiling across uh, the most of the units at either 3.1 meters for the living, dining and the bedrooms and of course the rest having that uh, high 2 odd meters you still can build like a loft version if you have let's say a living helper living together you want to have like a proper space for your helper this is a great illustration of how you can design your home shelter to be once you come back in terms of all the layouts whether you're buying a 2 bader or 3 bader Common bathroom size is generous as well. You do get quartz vanity top, standing shower throughout, and if we look at what's provided in terms of its fittings, Durovit sink, hands grow hay, Jabrit flush system, plus Durovit WC as well. Now this is the three beta version. 
If you buy the two bedder 700 square feet type, the common bedroom is actually larger than the three bedder common bedroom. That common room, you can use it as your home office first. And once your baby comes out, that can be a huge playroom plus a baby room. Now this is the third bedroom of uh, the three bedder version. Room size, decent, pretty nice standard features in the sense that you get nice solid timber wood. These are not veneer, these are really solid timber finishing. And then as you come here towards the three bedder version. King bed, two side tables. There's always a list of items that are being provided. So, three bed penthouse version, the master bath is done with marble vanity top. It's very important to look at the specs when you purchase the property. But of course, now there's a full stack of like PDI forms for you to sign. And then you can look at what the items that are being provided. And most importantly, M Corp has been a very established uh, developer in Singapore and in the region. They have uh, done many projects. We can have a look at some of the projects that they have been doing uh, in recent years. 35 Guild is one of them. Furthermore, 35 Guild is accorded a highly commended recognition at the 2021 Property Guru Asia Property Awards Singapore. And this is one of the most respected and most sought after real estate industry honors. And one key reason why we think that 35 Guild in terms of PSF is attractive was because it was one of the first few projects to hit its on block stage in the early part of uh, the current bull run in the property market. So at an earlier point, when the on block happened, that translates into uh, the current price, which I think pegging with what is happening around the region, uh, that is fantastic. Because let's have a look at what are some of the 99 years new launches doing around the Newton area. Copa and Newton that's doing very well. They are trading in the range of about $2,005 to maybe about $2,900 per square foot depending on the height level. So when we look back at the resale freehold, which is trading in a safe bandwidth of $2,000 to $2,400 per square foot, we know that there's a very nice balance in terms of brand new and resale all above the $2,800 square foot range. When you look at this freehold project, brand new, $2,005, $2,006, I think that's a very safe entry, not just in terms of PSF, but also in terms of quantum. I'm waiting on the sun to rise. If you want to have a look at 35 Guild State, the numbers and links are all right down below. We also have an article that's being written on the 35 Guild State in terms of review. And we think that uh, the balancing and the sweet spot right here will be towards the preference of owning a boutique project and you want to be tucked within a landed enclave, yet you don't want to purchase a landed, you want more of a strata status, having that freehold uh, landmark in terms of land channel. And last but not least, for those who are interested in this development, a brand new two beta show flat will be available for viewing in January by appointment only. One very nice sweet spot again is the maintenance fee that's all tucked below the $500 mark. So even if you go for the bigger unit, you're doing at about $490. The one per study doing at about $420. So very nice spread and balance throughout in terms of maintenance fee as well. Once again, my name is Melvin Lim. Thank you for staying tuned with us throughout our new launch series review. Hope you enjoy 35 Guild State at this sales gallery and uh, keep a look out for our future new launch review series as well with Property Lim Brothers. And, in the meantime, take care. No friend, no friend of